Hello loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. It's an honor, a blessing to be able to sit with you here today and to light incense, light candles, shuffle the cards, pull the charts, and see what messages Beautiful Spirit has for us today. For those of you guys that are brand new to the YouTube channel, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. I've got my chart pulled up on the left and I have my cards here in my hands. I'm going to be working with the Mermaid Tarot. To be totally honest with you guys, I am missing one card from this deck. That is because my beautiful Nova girl, my Doberman puppy, she's five months old now, she decided that she was going to rip through the deck this morning and she decided that the Knight of Pentacles was her card of choice and that she would just completely demolish that card that card is gone honey <laughs> it is with us no longer so r.i.p to the knight of pentacles however what if that was a sign a signal of the energy of this week you guys the energy of this week and as i'm saying this i am pulling for us the two of swords is jumping out which i don't hate that i don't hate that at all actually how are we all feeling how are you guys hanging hanging in there for those of you guys that don't know, or if you need a reminder, Venus currently is still retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. You know, this is where we start, we are continuing to redefine what is important, what is valuable to us, especially when it comes to our money, when it comes to our relationships, when it comes to what we feel that we are attracted to. For some of you guys, you've really been retreating into the dark cave of your life you've been self-isolating or self-reflecting in a lot of ways really being very serious about what you want for yourself spirit is encouraging you through that process 1000 percent. and as i'm saying that we have the death card and we have the six of pentacles i'm sorry eight of pentacles showing up so clearly spirit is showing you or showing us that there's something very serious that has your attention right now for those of you guys that aren't necessarily committed to anything anyone or your commitments are starting to shift and change i'm really feeling like what you are invested in is being reevaluated right now and reestablished at this time I am getting a message for all of you, for all of you, look, King of Pentacles just jumped out, just hopped out. I am getting a message for all of you that with this, while the sun is moving through the sign of Capricorn and while Pluto is moving through the sign of Capricorn and while Venus is retrograde in the sign of Capricorn, really be patient with yourself and with redefining your goals for your life because it really will truly be for the rest of your life you are establishing the the foundation even more secure i want you guys to keep an eye on communications that are happening during this time pay attention to those who are capable pay attention to those who have what it takes i feel like there's a really strong level of discernment there's some people who say that they're about their business they say that they want something more serious or they say that they're serious about you but you may find that their energy is really flaky during this time don't take that personally please do not take that personally it's just the planet's doing their best to show you this person may have potential but potential is not enough capricorn energy is very very serious about anything that it puts its energy into if it's not serious about it or if it doesn't see that it'll pay off in the long the long run it doesn't necessarily always dash it away but it will toy with it and I don't know if Capricorns or Capricorn energy is the most open with talking about that because Capricorn energy can be a closed book. It can be a safe, meaning like good luck trying to put the key in that lock and opening up the door for that. And when you do, it's going to be a heavy door. And when that door is locked, it's locked, you know? So with this energy, you guys, how is this showing up in your own life? For some of you guys, you are really closing the door and ending a, a chapter within your life and in your journey. Nine of Swords is here showing up, just saying literally anything that's giving you anxiety, tension, anything that is tumultuous or energetically draining to your spirit, soul right now, you just don't want to tolerate it anymore. And you can tell, you guys, with Neptune moving to the sign of Pisces right now and Neptune is going to be squaring off with Mars. Mars is the planet of action, drive, and ambition. This is going to be having on the, happening on the 11th. You can really sense and tell what someone's vibes are 
beyond what the words that is that they're saying. Around the 16th, we're gonna have uh, Mercury is gonna be turning retrograde. So this is just another way, especially as Mercury is moving through the sign of Aquarius, nearing Saturn. So you're getting closer and closer and closer to cementing and signing something off in a serious way but then all of a sudden last minute uh, there's a change of heart a change of mind and you feel like you you're taking five steps backwards instead of five steps forward so there is this little bit of a dance that the planets are doing right now and again don't take it personally when you start to see people having a change of heart energy kind of shifting energy being unstable or destabilized with Saturn and Mercury sitting in the sign of Aquarius, this is the sign that rules emotional detachment. That's the best way to approach this, is to not completely in, in emotionally invest yourself in something or, yeah, don't allow yourself to emotionally invest in something and then become defeated, frustrated, disappointed when you find that it doesn't work out in the way that you had hoped it would or if some of you guys are like well just this was a promise that was made to me this was someone that they said that they could follow through that they had what it takes and honestly you want to be very saturn i'm sorry you want to be very sun and, and capricorn energy where it's like it's not just your words i need to see your action i need to see the plan and i need to see what you have done so far to prove yourself to me or else i'm not investing in this i'm not investing in your energy so if they cannot follow through and if they're picking up on how serious you are about your own goals you will start to see that they're going to flake and fall apart that's just venus retrograde and, and the sign of capricorn energy all over all right, so that's take that as a blessing because you guys are very serious. You're about your money, you're about your bag, you're about your business, you're about your brand, you're about your goals for your family, you're about purchasing that big house, you're about um, saving up, you're about fixing your credit, all of these things, um, revamping your health, all of these things, you are are not taking lightly by any means you are ushering in massive transformation clearly we have the death card sitting at the base of this car at the base of this deck this is because you can sense that you are on the precipice of major major new beginnings we've already cracked open into new beginnings this has nothing to do with the year 2022 starting with um january uh with the the new year this has nothing to do with this you guys this is everything to do with the way that the planets are aligned okay one thing else that i want you guys to pay attention to is that we're going to have the full moon in the sign of cancer this is going to be happening on the 17th i'm looking at the charts right now you want to talk about <laughs> just not being not taking your goals lightly this full moon is going to highlight that energy even further when i say zero tolerance my loves i just feel from the collective I'm, I'm feeling for the tribe that so many of you guys are not here for the fuckery and the or the foolishness you're not here for it you don't want to entertain it this has a lot to do with your own personal boundaries a lot of you guys have learned a lot when it comes to okay this person i can show up for because they have been there for me or this way for my work, it always pays off, it's always prosperous, so I will show up in that way and I'll give it my all. This relationship doesn't feel like it's conducive to anything except troubles and problems and heartache and headache, so I'm crossing that off of my list. You guys have really put your goals, your goals, not even like, you know, these wishes or these intentions, you guys are putting your healthy goals first and foremost, and you have dedicated yourself to commit to that through thick and through thin. This means that clearly there has been something within your life or within yourself or the energy around you that says regardless of how I feel, I know what I need to do and I will do what it takes in order to get me to that point. What does this mean? This means that you guys are tapping into your intuitive feelings, you're tapping into your logic, you're tapping into your deep emotions, and you are using all of the and how things physically feel you're using all of those things together in order to create a plan a path that is realistic to help you to achieve your goals and some of you guys know that there are some big 
major things that you've had to say goodbye to and those were emotional goodbyes but because you've had this greater vision because you feel so called to do it you understand on a deeper level the worth and the value and that even though you may not see the end result today that the steps that you're taking now are going to get you to that ultimate destination and that's what I can tell if you have not already tapped into that and if you have not already you're not already sensing it you will without a doubt moving forward into this week this week will bring a lot of clarity into what you need to do for you and some parts of that are going to be you accepting the fact that there are some people who just cannot come with you where it is that you are going because they're all talk they're all performance and they have they genuinely just don't have what it takes i truly believe that this is not a goodbye it's more of a see you later i feel like when you're working on yourself when you're working on your goals when you set the bar higher for yourself and you're striving to hit that goal for yourself you will get a gen a, a real genuine sense that the things that is that you've already said goodbye to it's not the end of that you're going to see them at some point or you're going to see it at some point along in the future and if that is the case you are going to be you're going to show up again as your highest best self and you can proudly proudly look at yourself in the mirror and proudly look at yourself in the eyes and say wow i've come a really long way i've come a really i've come so far it's not for you, it's not about what other people think about you or what other people are saying, but the value in other people noticing is that you are seeing this every day, but it does show some level of significance and growth that makes you feel good when you notice that other people notice it, notice it as well. So that's a very specific message, but I wanted to throw that out there. With Chiron still moving through the sign of Aries, again, this energy is telling you to hyper-focus within, within the self. This does not mean that you are being selfish all the time or even selfless all the time. It means that you are allotting time for yourself to speak life into, your, into yourself, to make sure that you are on the right plan are the right path to make sure that you are honoring your plan to make sure that you are doing what you need to do in order to make sure that you're confident to make sure that you're a leader within your own life within your own goals so that you are redefining this is who i am now this is the life that it is that i'm not that i want to live but that i am living i may not necessarily be in again this ultimate dream vision but the way that I live my life matches the vibration of where it is that I'm going. So all of these things that they're manifesting, they're evolving, they're shifting, and I'm already living that reality, even though you may not see it here now. It is actively manifesting. This is a person or people, the tribe, the, the collective, that have clearly gone way beyond just setting the intention. They are in the, in the, the mindset and the energy field of m m total manifestation all right this is when the spiritual body has already accepted that this end goal that this vision that they have for themselves is the actual truth so their day-to-day -day starts to match really starts to match that that intention that they've set even though the external world may not physically clearly represent that yet it will get there it will catch up it's spiritual thought spiritual progress first before we see the physical um representation of that the physical uh you know clear tangible okay that's just always how it is so i really want to tell you guys that this is the week that absolutely venus is retrograde and mercury will chase right after her um in the retrograde transit and the retrograde energy but this is just honestly it's a welcome breath of fresh air believe it or not because again you are revamping redesign redesigning and restructuring your goals your life your plan through your day-to-day -day because you have this end this end result that you need to that you need to get to like there you just know that you're going to get there shout out to sun conjunct pluto which is going to be happening on the 16th of this week this is such a powerful transit you guys i always work my magic <laughs> when the sun conjuncts pluto to to each their own you guys i mean not everybody's going to do the same thing as me and that's i actually welcome that follow your own vibes 
but this is a, a, a potent moment in the year where you can really tap into your own personal power your own sense of control your own sense of domination what do you want to dominate in your own life what do you want to just totally like regain total control of the reins of something within your life it's giving me very much chariot vibes where are you setting your will where are you setting your intention where are you setting your vision that that is where you are going sun conjunct pluto is when you're totally tapping into that so if you guys need to light some money candles if you need to do some root chakra work if you need to tap, tap into your solar plexus if you need to revamp your um persona for the internet or whatever for some of you guys you know who knows if you need to resubmit that resume if you need to call that person up and give them a piece of your mind the 16th is the day to do that and on the 14th mercury retrograde that the day that mercury goes retrograde you have already redefined in your head and sat with yourself okay what is it that i actually want what is it that i need to revisit what needs to be fixed so you've already taken a time out in order to not react but to be very mindful on what you need to say how it needs to say it and who needs to hear it so when sun conjunct pluto happens the message is delivered without without miscommunication even though mercury is retrograde you guys i can't help but to notice that i feel like a lot of you guys are revisiting some steps that you thought that you might have said goodbye to why because that's just how the planets work i understand that the whole internet's going to tell you listen don't revisit this don't go back here don't do that but the planets take steps backwards for a reason. And the truth is, is that some of you guys do need to close out certain chapters within your life. Or the truth is, is that there are certain opportunities that you are welcome and open and even encouraged to revisit because there is something that was left there. Um, let's say this is, for some of you guys, your first thought is to think about relationships or connections. I get it. But this goes far beyond that. This could be, let's say if you're in the business of consignment shops or if you're in the business of or just creating a business, self-employment, whatever the case is, there may be a thought, uh, an idea that you may have had that you've neglected because life, man, life. Maybe the holidays hit. Maybe you got COVID. Maybe something happened that kind of derailed you or re had you kind of focus your attention elsewhere. When venus and now mercury are both retrograde you get the chance to go back to where things were left off go back to where left things were left unopened on you know this chapter that wasn't really finished and kind of write the end of that so you can close out that chapter within your book within the next two to three weeks and then move forward is this an opportunity for you to reconnect and replug into things that are unhealthy and things that are not good for you absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not i don't second i don't support that for a second pardon me i, do, I don't with the full moon falling on the sign of cancer you guys this is that wounded that wounded spot that soft spot that vulnerable spot in your belly and in your heart and in your chest area that you protect that for a reason as your astrologer and intuitive best friend, I don't wanna see you hurt and suffering for no reason. I think that there is a time and a place for everything, but I don't think that we should be actively inviting in things that are gonna hurt us for no reason. I just don't feel like you deserve it. I mean, to be honest with you guys, I mean, it's really, you know me, I'm the balance between gentle and fierce. All right, and I work to balance those aspects out within myself every day and this energy shows up in how I talk to you and how I approach my work. I will be gentle with you, but I will always be honest and I will always be fierce because why? I, I'm invested in you. I'm, I want you to have your best life. I can feel and sense that there's a reason why I show up every week or every day to come talk to you because I know that for someone it's making a difference and I'm not gonna give up on that. It can be really frustrating for me as this, you know, even as Cancer rising in Virgo Sun, 
I feel like I'm like this mother hen and I can see some of the chickies, the spirit, my spiritual chickies, and I'm like, wait, why, why are you doing that? Because you're going to hurt yourself. Don't go there. That's dangerous. Don't go there. It's not necessary. There are some risks that are worth taking because the reward is so great and the reward is just beyond your fingertips and there are some things that are just going to hurt you and at this point, my love, I want you to be as protective of you as I am of you, as the spirit is of you, of the divine or your ancestors are of you because they don't want you to hurt without reason, okay? We don't want to invite in unnecessary suffering into your life, especially if you should have completed that lesson, completed that cycle. And you guys know what this is. You guys absolutely know what this is. With Venus retrograde and Mercury retrograde, I want to make sure that you're not returning to the wounds of the past, things that you have worked really hard to kind of break ground in. Um, I want to see you do things differently. Cancer is absolutely a cardinal sign, and Cancer wants you to foster, cultivate, and engage in things that are good are care about you sometimes maybe beyond how you care about yourself sometimes it can be really hard for us to make those decisions because when your heart and your mind get caught in that you can really get derailed you get some nine of swords type of energy you get some four of cups reverse type energy maybe some five of cups type of energy but for those of you guys that read tarot you know exactly what I'm talking about but you know I just feel like Taking that time out, Chiron moving through Aries is going to give you that boost of independence, that boost of self-confidence, that boost of self-awareness that says, you know what, I am not going to go back to what hurt me because there's nothing more there for me than more ache, more suffering, more pain, and I just don't want to be stabbed in the back, and I just don't want to, you know keep being helping this person or showing up in this area and having this bite me having to bite my hand i don't want to keep asking for scraps when there's a whole banquet on the left or on the right all right so let's go ahead and take a quick pause i'm going to refresh my incense i'm going to tap into the tarot a little bit further cleanse the tarot and then let's see what intuitive messages spirit has for us for this week Hello my loves, really quickly before we start shuffling cards, I wanted to share a quick word from today's sponsor of our video, Cozy Earth. For those of you guys that don't know, they're one of my favorite brands and I was so happy to collab with them on sets that you can find on their website and they were kind and generous enough to offer you guys a coupon code 50% off anything that you choose to purchase from their website. Anything that you buy from their website are temperature regulating. They wick off moisture. They have an enhanced weave quality that won't pill over time. They are super soft and every single product from their website is covered under a 10 year warranty. Again, I've got the link down below. You can go ahead and visit that link, get 50% off using my coupon code the discount code Bahati Life 50 and now back to the intuitive message okay my lady and good sir we are going to tap into the cards and see what spirit has first things first spirit is talking about this week um, being mindful cautious observing I'm not sure if this is things that have you hung up um, on them or if their spirit is wanting you to be hung up. Um, it's giving me hangman vibes, but what I can see and what I can sense is that maybe this has something to do with the fact that the planets, well, Mercury is about to join in Venus retrograde and Uranus is currently retrograde, but Uranus is going to go direct next week. All right. I think around the 18th. Um, so there is this like gaping hole. There's this wide open hole, this void energy of like, what is going to happen here? If the planets are showing that and revealing that to you, and that's the energy that we're working with. We can't expect ourselves to 
power past that or to not be influenced by that in some way. So I don't know if this is a journaling prompt for those, for some of you guys that do do journaling. I always invite my Sacred Circle Tarot School to do the journaling um, and, and or to journal period in order to tap into their intuition deeper. But I do feel like spirit is inviting you to hang things up for a minute and just kind of like allow yourself to swing a little bit at where you are at it at this moment in your life. I do not get a sense that some of you guys are so afraid. I don't know why this is coming through. Some of you guys are so afraid that if you're still for too long, the past is going to catch up with you or something from the past is going to, it's like you keep moving, moving forward as fast and as quickly as you can. And you're keeping yourself so busy that you, the things of the past or the issues of the past don't have the opportunity, the chance to, to chase you, to catch up with you. Then there's others who have been reclining. You've been horizontal. So you've been, whatever position that means for you, just laying on your side, you've been laying on your side for too long and it's almost become self-defeating. It's almost become self-destructive at this point. It's time for you to get up. There's no judgment that I am picking up from spirit, from your guides right now, but they do not want to see you in this recumbent phase anymore. It was once re restorative, but now it's almost becoming, I don't want to say a crutch, but you've almost kind of accepted defeat or accepted this current real that current reality. So you're not, you're no longer showing up for yourself. You're no longer trying. You're just kind of allowing things to be. Um, I'm also getting the energy of being receptive to certain stuff. Like you're just like, oh, well, I have to do this or this is what's expected of me. So you just kind of lay over on your side and just allow. And then spirit's like, that's not the case. Eight of Swords is showing up here. Uh, yes, this card can represent fear, anxiety, hesitation, our own perception of things. But right now, how it's coming through is there's something that you have been inadvertently just because it's been every day um you've been kind of allowing and spirit wants you to pull yourself up out of that energy and allow yourself to swing swing for just a moment because you are going to have a perspective shift because you are going to have an idea because you are going to start gaining some momentum because you have to put more action in your step or change how you've been moving thus far. Thank God for Mercury retrograde. Thank God for Venus retrograde because these planets are the catalyst and also Sun conjunct Pluto, I feel will be the catalyst to make you deeply um, mold with or merge with uh, what it is that you're meant to connect with. Um, what does that mean? This means that this could be an idea that spirit gives you. It could be a, a soulmate or a twin flame that has been evading you. This could be a perception that is stopping you from experiencing deeper intimacy with others or within yourself. This could be in a moment of enlightenment that has been so tough or, or your, your, your mind or your spirit has been so calloused or so calcified that it's been so hard for you to crack through. Something is going to happen this week if you allow it that will come forward and will create a breakthrough for you that will help you to see the light in a different way again. And not only will you see the light, but you will merge with it. You'll become one with it. And your action, your step, your thoughts, your heart have aligned perfectly, have plugged into this. So any steps that you are guided to take, they feel like they are purpose-driven. They feel like they are purpose-led. They feel like they are taking you in a new direction. Spirit is saying, finally, you deserve this. What else, Spirit? What else do we need to hear? 
some of you guys are, <laughs> some of you, I don't know why this is making me laugh, but some of you guys are awakening to, oh my goodness, as I was saying that, the magician card. Some of you guys are awakening to new truth. You are tapping into new sources of abundance, of love, of blessing. This is something that you probably have been held, you're holding yourself off of for quite some time just because you've been saying for a minute, you know, I don't belong there. Or, oh, that's not for me. Or I'm going to do things this way because this is the way that I've always done it. Now it's like spirits like, why don't you try this thing? Why don't you show up in this way? Why don't you... It's like life is evolving. Life is always moving. There's all these new things that show up. And I, Spirit is saying, you know, tap into this well here because there is a gold. There is gold at the bottom of this well. You're going to be, it's going to be well received. You're going to be well liked. It's going to be, you know, just open arms, open hands. Some of you guys are going to say like, you know, they or this never really accepted me or this is something that I've never really fully accepted or something that I said that I would never do. And now all of a sudden this week, you're like, maybe I want to. And it's like, well, I don't know, maybe explore it. Like, you're allowed to change your mind. Spirit's like, I just see you changing your mind. Look at this. The bottom of the well, we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is sitting at the bottom of the well. And then we also have the Knight of Swords. So there is some level of information, truth, clarity that is coming through for you. Okay, let me be honest with you guys. Um, and let me be honest with Spirit. I, As I'm doing this reading, I keep hearing the word performance. Perform. Um, spirits, please speak to me about this. Because I can't. I do feel like some of you guys who are actors, actresses, you're about to hear about a new role or you're pursuing a new role. Give, yo, know, give this your best shot because this could be your breakthrough moment. I know that I have some of you guys who are celebrities, actors, just in the public eye. It's something that you would have, you're like, there's no way, you know, or I, not that you shouldn't, but you're like, Maybe I've always done this role. I've always done this thing. And it's like, try this because you, this could be your breakthrough moment. Really breakthrough moment. It's kind of giving me Holly Berry vibes when she did, I think it was Monsters Ball. And she like won, won an Oscar. So someone really needs to hear that. They're, they're saying focusing on the performance. Um, for some of you guys, if you have been out of the scene for a minute, something is about to break through as far as an opportunity that is coming through real clear as day and says, literally give this your best shot. For some of you guys, you think that the word perform means to be inauthentic um, and to be, but honestly, how it's coming through right now is spirit is like, it's very demonstrative. It's very expressive. It takes a feeling that is authentic and then it brings it larger than life so that another person or the audience or whoever's watching can fully understand and grasp grasp the magnitude of this emotion in this moment. It's very big. So for those of you guys that, and I just, as I'm talking, like, I just want to like, ah, like for those of you guys that are feeling this, there's this, there's this demonstration. There's this, um, again, some of you are like, well, this is not authentic. It's like, go big, really go big, because that's how you, you really hit this out of the ballpark. Go big, go big. Okay, King of Cups is here. Um, I don't know why, but it, he was reversed. I don't see this as self-confidence issues. I see this as, I don't know why, but feelings of embarrassment or internal shame. I'm also hearing the word grief. Um, I'm pulling Ten of Cups. I have Eight of Pentacles reversed. Um, Ace of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you have blocked yourself off from something or someone, or you've been taking a break. I just heard the word recalibrating. You've been taking a really serious, much needed, well-deserved break. And through that break, you are gaining some clarity into re-entering this chapter in your life or re-entering this uh, stage within your life or this topic or subject within your life. Spirit's like, yeah, go in there. 
Ace of Swords is here showing me that someone is not only prepared, they've done a lot of healing. They've done a lot of internal, mental, emotional, spiritual growth. I don't think that this is a person that is completely hardened. I feel like they understand now that there's a certain level of vulnerability and transparency that's required of them in order to be successful within this area of, of their life. And they have what it takes. So Spirit is saying that if you've been really harboring with your self growth um, and, and how you share, you might've been a little closed off for a minute, that's okay. Now you're re-entering, you're feeling more, you won't be taken advantage of and you will connect with the right people, the right things, the right whatever in order that we're gonna contribute to you. So you're no longer pulled away from the rest of the world. You're actually ending that cycle, that chapter within your life. We have the Two of Swords here and the Ten of Swords, that stalemate, that incompleteness that you've been feeling and sensing, but you've been kind of afraid and hesitant to ask for, to show up for once again, simply because of how things worked out in the past. We have Five of Pentacles here, also reversed. There's something that in this area in your life, you're like, you know what? I just don't see myself showing up. I'm not available in this way. I don't want to show up. I'm going to continue with the day-to-day. -day. Now, all of a sudden, you're like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. I feel like there's something out there. Look, Knight of Cups. This is, as you say yes to this, it says yes to you. There's a reflection. There's a mirroring that happens. And this comes from an intuitive, deeper space within your heart, soul, and spirit. Having said that, my loves, something, what you seek is seeking you. Something is out there waiting for you to say, I am ready now. Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles says, once you tell me or once you tell the universe that yes, I am here, it will respond to you and say, I've heard your call and I am here too. And now we will do everything in order to bring, to drive you forward, to drive those two things together. Six of Cups is the card of rekindling, reconnections, um, reconciliation. However, I feel like this is finding the the soul's partner, finding the opposite, finding the purpose, finding the depth, finding the love. Those things are re are coming back together again. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, effortless, effortless. The final cards that are supporting you, my loves, we have 10 of cups here and the eight of pentacles, okay? So with the 10 of cups, this is the promise that your hopes, your wish, your happiness, your joy, that will prevail. Even if you may not have seen that before with eight of pentacles here, maybe there's an area of your life that no matter how hard you worked for it, no matter how much you've tried, it didn't pay off. It didn't work out. It's not to say that you didn't deserve it. It's not to say that you didn't do enough. It's just to say that that thing at that moment in that time was not ready. It was not receptive. And it was it was just more potential, more potential, more talk than actual something solid and stabilized. Clearly, do you guys remember at the beginning of this reading, I was pulling the death card a lot. Clearly, there has been massive transformation that has happened in the absence, in the void, in the empty. Not only within yourself, but when the, within this other opportunity. There's been a lot of shifting. And now that you're here, you will start to see that, again, it's not anything, I, I, I'm pretty sure I said this last week, that it's not always what you did or didn't do, it's just the circumstances and how they reveal themselves. You're having a deeper understanding right now that, again, Whatever it is that you're tapping into, your Ten of Cups, it's not always you putting in all of the hard work. It's not always what you have done or haven't done, will do or haven't done. Sometimes it's about aligning and timing and karma and fate and all and the planets, all of those things. And I just feel like there is a breakthrough here when it comes to that. So I just feel like you're gonna, you could do a little less work and get a lot more reward spirit can you confirm this for, for us and then any last messages that we need to hear at this moment in time all right interesting so we have eight of wands 
We have Three of Swords reversed. We have Ten of Pentacles reversed. Wow, I just heard. Okay, wait, Three of Pentacles. Let's see if it'll focus. These are the cards. And the word that I just heard was lost and found. It's giving me a vision of someone going back to the well, going back to a well or going to a new well same intention to get water, different outcome. You get pure water, but you also get a pearl. So lost and found, you guys. Something that was once lost here, something that was once in your work, in the, it's like someone who's moving, 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 like someone who's doing, living life or working towards their goal. It's like something got dropped behind it's like someone found unexpectedly. I don't know why this is coming through. Someone comes up behind and says, hey, we were looking for you or we were hoping to see you again. We found this, this is yours. I feel like this is actually physically gonna happen within your life. Let me know down in the comments, but also I feel like this is what spirit is working to give to you right now. Something that was dropped beyond, behind has your name written on it. It gets returned back to sender. It's lost and now it's found. For some of you guys, this could really be this long, long, long time goal, dream, vision that you have up until this point have completely abandoned hope for. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I get it. I get it. So you may have given up hope on this because you just feel like no matter how much you put the energy into it, no matter how much you manifest, when it manifests, it, you know, it just doesn't hit like you thought that it would and you're just not happy with it. I can totally relate to that. I do that all the time. This is because there's everything that we manifest or everything that we set intention for, it serves a season in our life and that season has something to do with our growth. And you've learned a lot. This is why I feel like a lot of you guys are just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> like you just say, you know what, I'm, I'm good on it. I don't even want to ask anything. I just want to put things on autopilot. I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to open on. Notice how when you have that, there's an energy change, an energy shift. And then all of a sudden things just eight of wands just show up on your doorstep. Hey, you rang? Uh, yeah, I rang three years ago. Where were you? I don't see you approaching it in that way. I don't see you having that type of reaction to it. But some of you guys, I actually feel you're like, you open up the door just to crack and you're like, All right, okay, like lay it on the doorstep and then just take three steps back and then I'll, I'll check it out. There's this really strong sense of like hesitancy because you're just like, yo, you guys aren't going to play me. You're not going to catch me off guard. Been there, done that. Like we're doing better. I just feel like spirit is telling you right now, give this your all. Okay, give it your all. If the end result is a no, which I don't feel like it will be, or if the end result is a failure, which I don't feel like it will be, at least I feel that it'll open up the door. For those of you guys that are celebrities or in the public eye, there's, I, I, this is a very specific message for you. I feel like there's something that you feel like you don't belong in, or you're like, if I'm a singer, then I can't show up as an actor. If I'm an actor, I can't show up in this way and create a makeup line. Or if I am am known for making makeup, there's no way that I should be showing up and making shoes now. And Spirit's like, that might've actually been your original dream, your actually vision. And just because you've been successful in this one area of your life, doesn't mean that you're only gonna be successful in that area of your life. Yes, it paid your bills. Yes, it put you on the map, but now, it's time for you, your path to kind of deviate or to go in this new direction where you will find tremendous success. And the only way for you to do that is if you give it your all. Don't look at um, how you've given it your, path, your all in the past and it didn't work out. So why should you do that now? Now is the time. And that's your message. I hope this reading resonates for you guys. If you need me, of course, you can find me within the Apothecary. My home base is BahadiLife.com. That's where I do my magic. That's where I work the candles. Um, yeah, um, candles, oils, all of those things. You can see them in the background, maybe. It Oh, um, the 2022 guide book, the Astro Astrology and Intuitive Guidebook is currently in progress. I'm currently writing it, King of Pentacles. It is solid, it is stable, it is here, it is present, showing up. 
that is in the works. So if you guys want to reserve your copy, it is in pre-order sale right now. That means that if you pre-order your ebook guide for the 2022, which is the full astrological and intuitive breakdown for 2022. Yes, I'm a little bit late, but better to be late than never show up at all. So the links for that will be down below. The reviews for 2021 were phenomenal, you guys. In fact, you were just like, just not only do we want this, but can you also put it in a soft copy? I don't know if that's what it's called, but physical copy that we can actually hold, put in our purse, put in our book bag or our backpacks or wherever, put it on our bookshelf so that we can tap it into every day. A lot of you guys were using it not only for your intuitive guidance in the day to day and in that week or also working your magic, but a lot of you guys were using it for journal prompts, for deep, deeply connecting to your own intuition. And you're going to find a lot more of that in 2022. In fact, I was actually and have been guided lately to write this more every week, every breakdown of every week in a more um, love letter. I don't know why, but that's kind of been my thing lately. It's just my love letters to you, my love letters from spirit. So it will speak directly to your spirit, to your soul. This is again going to be in the guide for 2022. 2022. Can you believe that? We're in the year of 2022 harmonizing and aligning so um again links for that will be down below if you guys have any questions please let me know it's estimated to look like i will be completed by february 14th valentine's day so give that to yourself give that to another it will probably i'm sure be an amazing gift because it was a gift for so many i mean i can't imagine it's not gonna be a gift for you it was a gift for me Anyways, I love you guys so much. Please make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!